All right. Here's a little update on another project I'm working on. Um, I just ordered this motor. It is a three and a half horse Briggs uh, Industrial Plus, and what that means is it has a cast iron sleeve, um, cast iron bore instead of like a standard uh, standard engine lawnmower motor would have a an aluminum bore. Uh, so this is a, a you know more industrial application, longer run times. You'll get years and years and years out of this thing. Um, my plan for this thing is to it's brand new. Just got it. Uh, just got it today. I ordered it from a company called Small Engine Warehouse. Uh, 199 bucks to my door, and uh, this will be the first thing that goes. I'm yanking off the fuel tank and setting her aside. It has never been fired on gasoline, nor will it ever. It is going to be wood gas only, and I'll tap into the either the air filter housing or or pull that off and tap into the back side of the carb. I'm still deciding whether or not I'm going to leave the carb on. Um, this again will be just basically fire it, set it at a certain RPM and walk away. Um, so we'll flip this thing around here. And it's a, uh, a keyed shaft. I don't know if you can see it or not. Looks like a quarter inch key. I haven't measured it yet. Um, Drilled and tapped if you want to put like a, a keeper bolt and washer on here or something. Three quarter inch shaft. And what I'm building is uh, what I've heard referred to as an alternator generator or an inverter generator uh, with one difference. Um, you know, these guys are building homemade generators um, running an automotive alternator belt drive off of, you know, a small engine. Uh, they also build like a little cart and usually they'll have a battery and inverters on it. Uh, I'm not doing that basically instead of a, a alternator generator I'm building more of a charge station. Um, I've talked about it in previous videos for a battery bank. This is part of my off-grid experiment. Now what this is here is this is what's commonly known as a GM one wire alternator. We flip it around on the back you can see there's the one and two ports that would be on a three wire are plugged off and it just has one charge port here. Um, I actually had this this alternator custom built for uh, this specific application. Um, most of these one wire alternators they're self exciting so you don't have to run external wires to a switch or anything like that but most of them you have to rev up the engine or, or increase RPM speed uh, usually fairly substantially to get it to excite the windings and start charging. That's what's different about this alternator. I had it built to self-excite at about 600 RPM. So, uh, you know, I'll just find a spot uh, on my, my ball valve carburetor setup that I prefer this to run. And I'm shooting for around 11 to 1500 RPM. Uh, basically, and as soon as I start this thing, it will self-excite and charge. I won't have to try to play with the ball valves to wrap it up or anything like that uh, to get it to excite. So, this is my new little project. It's going to be a little charge station. I'll build a little wheeled cart for it. And uh, the purpose of this is to charge, I'll swing over here, my battery bank. And I'll get into that later. Uh, that, again, is another project. Um, I'm not going to do like a, a tutorial on how to build these things or anything like that. I'm uh, just kind of showing you where I'm at, what I'm working on. And, uh, you know, there's plenty of tutorials online if you want to learn how to build one of these or whatever. Again, I'm not going to use this to... I'm not going to have an inverter on this assembly. I will have inverters, and they will be part of my my battery bank cart, but I, I just think that having sensitive electronics mounted to a vibrating Briggs and Stratton engine is just kind of a recipe for catastrophe, so I'm not going to mount inverters to, to this setup here. They'll actually be mounted to a little cart on my battery bank. So that's my new project. This, this uh, I guess we'll call this the wood gas charge station. So please rate and comment.